Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Okay, three cookies coming right up. I need three cookies for table four. You got it. It's empty. Empty? How? I filled it at the start of my shift. We must have a cookie thief. Did you say a cookie thief? Name's Back Jower. Don't you mean Jack? No, I mean Back Jower, a completely separate character from any Fox programming. I work for CTU, the cookie theft unit, and I've been tracking an exceptional cookie thief all across the US. We call him the Crumbler. The Crumbler? Yes, because all he leaves behind at the scene of his crimes are cookie crumbs. Oh, and a note. Yes, and wait, what? Yes, it seems to be a to-do list. And look at the bottom. Steal cookies. It must be the crumblers. Well, uh, that's fine detective work. I'll just be taking that back to CTU for testing. Testing? Yes, we're going to analyze the ink. And how do you analyze ink? Oh, through a simple process called chromatography. Many inks, like the ink in my black marker here, are actually composed of several different colors. Like yellow and blue make green. Or blue and red make purple. Precisely. Black ink is made up of lots of colors, so chromatography allows you to separate out the various colors that make it up. So if we take a sample of this note back, we can actually figure out what colors make up the ink and how much of each color. How does that help? Well, each marker has its own special formula. So if we collect all the markers in the cafe, Done. Wait. Now done. Now we can take all the markers and the note and test them at the Kidtropolis Forensics Lab. Wait, Kidtropolis has a forensics lab? Yep. Great. And we work there too. Naturally. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. For this project, you need paper towels, scissors, cups with water, non-permanent markers, and optionally, a stand. Cut the paper towel into long strips. Color a dark mark about an inch from one end of the strip. Repeat with each marker. Dip the end of the paper towel closest to the mark into the water. Make sure the mark doesn't dip into the water. You can either hold the strip or use a stand to hold the strip while the paper towel absorbs the water. Cool! The ink is moving with the water up the strip, separating out its different colors. Exactly! Some ink colors dissolve in water better than others, so the inks lower in the strip don't dissolve as well and move much more slowly up the paper. The inks that do dissolve well move much faster and end up near the top of the paper. Because each pen has specific inks, you can compare the patterns to match inks. So, the results are in. And it looks like the marker on the note matches back jowers. Weird. What's that in your bag? The cookies. Look, I can't explain all the, look, a distraction. Yoink. Hey. This has been another oh wow moment from the Children's Museum in Houston. There he is. We hope your mind can come out to play. Gotta go. 